Ever wondered why your super-fast computer still can't simulate something as simple as the behavior of a few dozen electrons? It's a question that can keep tech enthusiasts and scientists up at night, and it all boils down to the inherent limitations of the classical binary computing systems we've come to rely on. Binary computing, the backbone of our digital world, is built on a system of bits, ones and zeros, that represent either an on or off state. It's a system that served us well, powering everything from our smartphones to the most powerful supercomputers. But it also has its limitations. One of the most significant challenges facing binary computing is its inability to handle complex simulations. For example, simulating the behavior of just a few dozen electrons, a task that sounds simple on the surface, is beyond the capabilities of even the most powerful binary computers. This is because the number of possible states these electrons could exist in is astronomically high, far beyond what binary systems can cope with. Then we have the issues of encryption and security. As technology advances, so too do the tools and techniques used by cybercriminals. The binary systems we use are increasingly vulnerable to these sophisticated attacks. And as we move towards a more interconnected world, this is a problem that's only going to get worse. Speed and storage constraints are another hurdle. Binary computing systems can only process so much information so quickly. And as we generate more and more data, these limitations become increasingly apparent. And lastly, there's the growing concern over energy consumption. As our reliance on digital technology grows, so does the energy required to power our devices. Binary computing systems, with their on or off states, are not the most energy efficient solution. Indeed, the binary system has its limitations, but what if we told you there's a revolutionary computing system on the horizon? Scene script. Enter the fascinating world of quantum computing, a realm where the laws of physics as we know them take a back seat. Quantum computing, a term you might have heard buzzing around in tech circles, is an entirely new paradigm of computation. It's a fascinating leap from the classical computing we've grown accustomed to. To understand how they differ, let's take a closer look at the basic units of information in both. In classical computing, we have bits. A bit can be either a zero or a one, on or off, black or white. Computers, in all their complexity, are essentially combinations of these bits, making sense of our digital world. But quantum computing, it introduces us to a new player, the quantum bit or qubit. Now, qubits are not limited to just being a zero or a one. They can exist in a state of both zero and one simultaneously, thanks to a quantum phenomenon called superposition. Imagine flipping a coin. In our classical world, the coin will land either heads up or tails up. But in the quantum realm, it's as if the coin lands in a state of both heads and tails at the same time. It's like having your cake and eating it too, but in a way that's much more complex and far less fattening. This ability of qubits to exist in multiple states at once opens up a world of possibilities. It means that a quantum computer can process a vast number of possibilities all at once. It can perform many calculations simultaneously, making it potentially much more powerful than a classical computer. While it's still early days and there are many challenges to overcome, the potential of quantum computing is enormous. It's not just about doing things faster or more efficiently. It's about being able to solve problems that are currently beyond our reach, problems that classical computers would take an eternity to solve. Quantum computing thus holds the promise of exponentially faster computing speeds. Scene script. Imagine being in two places at once. Sounds impossible? Not in the quantum world. Let's dive into the concept of superposition, the heart of quantum computing. It's a peculiar principle, one that defies our everyday understanding of reality. Picture a coin spinning in the air. It's neither heads nor tails, but both at the same time. That's a crude analogy of superposition. In the quantum realm, particles can exist in multiple states at once, only settling on a specific state when observed or measured. So how does this tie into quantum computing? Well, whereas classical computers operate on binary bits, which are either a zero or a one, quantum computers use quantum bits or qubits. A qubit can exist as a zero, a one or both simultaneously, thanks to superposition. This means that a quantum computer isn't just flipping through zeros and ones sequentially. 
It's exploring multiple possibilities at the same time. Imagine having a vast library of books and being able to read all of them simultaneously. That's the kind of power we're talking about. The implications are staggering. For instance, in cryptography, a quantum computer could crack codes and break encryption that would stump even the most powerful classical computers. In material science, it could simulate complex quantum phenomena that are currently beyond our computational reach. And in terms of problem solving, it could tackle intricate problems with a multitude of variables, like optimizing global supply chains or modeling climate change scenarios. But it's not just about sheer processing power. It's about the ability to navigate a landscape of possibilities in parallel to chart new paths and uncover solutions that would remain hidden to classical computation. The power of quantum computing lies in its ability to hold and manipulate a vast amount of information in parallel. We're standing on the brink of a computational revolution, one that could reshape our understanding of the universe and our place within it. What if you could instantly affect a particle light years away just by observing another one here on Earth? Imagine this. Two particles, no matter how far apart they are, behaving as if they are one. This eerie phenomenon is what we call quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is a fundamental property of the quantum world, where two particles become intimately linked. It's as if the universe has tied an invisible thread between them and they dance together in perfect harmony. When you observe or change the state of one particle, the other instantly mirrors the change defying the very concept of space and time. Now, why is this important for quantum computing? Well, it opens the door to a world of possibilities. One of the most exciting prospects is instantaneous communication, regardless of distance. Imagine sending a message across the globe, or even to Mars, in the blink of an eye. No more waiting for data to travel through cables or bounce off satellites. Instantaneous communication could revolutionize industries from finance to healthcare, where every millisecond counts. But don't let the potential for super speedy data transfer overshadow another significant implication of quantum entanglement, uncrackable encryption. In a world where data is the new gold and cyber threats are ever evolving, the need for secure communication is paramount. Quantum entanglement could provide the ultimate solution it's based on the principle that any attempt to eavesdrop on a quantum system disturbs the system itself. This means that any unauthorized intrusions would be instantly detectable, making quantum encryption virtually impervious to hacking. However, harnessing the power of quantum entanglement is no small feat. It requires us to delve deeper into the strange realm of quantum mechanics, challenging our current understanding of the universe. But the rewards could be monumental. Quantum entanglement could thus reshape our understanding of distance and speed. It could redefine the limits of communication, create unbreakable security systems, and ultimately usher in a new era of quantum technology. Quantum computing sounds like the stuff of science fiction, doesn't it? Yet, it's closer to reality than you might think. As we speak, scientists and researchers worldwide are diligently working to bring this revolutionary technology to life. The current state of quantum computing is a testament to their efforts, a blend of promising breakthroughs and daunting challenges. Quantum computers are no longer just theoretical constructs. They exist, albeit in nascent forms, in the laboratories of tech giants like Google and IBM, as well as in ambitious startups and academic institutions. The race is on to scale these quantum systems and make them more reliable, a task that requires overcoming significant hurdles. Maintaining quantum states, for instance, demands extremely low temperatures, pushing the boundaries of our current cooling technologies. Error correction, another big challenge, necessitates the creation of robust quantum algorithms that can correct inevitable errors without disrupting the delicate quantum states. But oh, the potential! The applications of quantum computing could be as vast as the universe itself. Imagine healthcare where quantum computers could analyze massive amounts of genetic data to tailor treatments for individuals, potentially revolutionizing personalized medicine. Or consider finance, where they could optimize portfolios in ways traditional computers can't, maximizing returns while minimizing risks. And let's not forget climate modeling, 
Quantum computers could simulate complex climate patterns with unprecedented accuracy, providing vital insights to combat climate change. Yet with such potential also comes responsibility. Quantum computing could disrupt our current security systems, making data encryption as we know it obsolete. It's a brave new world out there, and we need to be prepared for it. The future is quantum, and it's already knocking on our door. Are we ready for the quantum leap?